For this edition of Visiting Artist, we're here with Corey Holcomb. Corey, that was a great show you just put on. It was really funny. Oh. And I have observed through watching the show that you seem to be a man of great wisdom. So can you give me some relationship advice here and tell me how a girl can get her man to be faithful? For a woman to get her man to be faithful, he has to be um, a cancer patient or maybe a missing limb, something where he just can't afford to lose her. <laughs> but if you have a healthy male, faithful is out of the question. Listen, if you love your woman, she should be able to check your email and the voicemail on your cell phone. <laughs> hey, if you're a real player, you got a cell phone, she'll never find out about it anyway. I always let my girl check the cell phone that's on the kitchen table. That's what it's there for. Are, are all the stories that you tell on stage, are all those true? When you're talking about all your girlfriends, are they all true? Well, they're like stories that have been broken down a bit, but they have truth in them. They're all based on true stories. Uh, the stuff I say on stage about like, really my daughter walking up to me saying, you know, like my mommy, I told her that. Do you just have one daughter? Um, that I know about. Uh, as far as I go with kids, I got two and a possible, uh, but the possible hasn't been proven yeah. yet. So no check in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas is the worst holiday for poor people. We couldn't afford a tree. We had a coat rack with a green blanket on that one. <laughs> for presents, we just wrap up stuff around the crib. You, know? you get up my shirt. <laughs> Who got me this? My father be like, I did. Now unwrap the TV before the game come on. Have you ever had a show where you didn't do so hot and the audience just wasn't feeling it? Yeah, I did a show with, um, it was uh, some woman's club that somebody booked me for. Did you tell the same jokes that you told tonight? Um, not the exact same jokes, but, but the same, same yeah, along those same oh, lines. Lord, why would you do that? Um, I wanted to see their reaction. I guarantee you this, their reaction was the funny, it, it was priceless. At first they were looking at each other like, is it just me or is it? And they all like ganged up on me and they started booing me. What advice would you give to young comedians who are trying to start out? The longer you do stand up comedy though, in my opinion, if you're good, you'll find your voice where you're not really scared to say how you really feel. Mm -hmm. And if you're scared to say how you really feel, you can never stand out because there's only one you so if you can't say how you really feel, then, you know, you sound like everybody else. And I grew up poor. We, we were poor, P-O-U-R. <laughs> Thanksgiving, we had turkey flavored toast. What a crazy women at. Women, if you're crazy, clap your hands. I can appreciate a woman that lets you know she crazy in the beginning. Y'all the good women you know something wrong with you. All these girls that ain't clapping, look cuckoo ass. I'd have dealt with so many crazy women. I had this girl back in the day, crazy ass. I ain't have a car, so she keyed up the bus I used to catch to work. How long have you been in comedy? I've been doing comedy 16 years, um, and for the last eight years, it's been going real good. Yeah. Like when you first start out doing comedy, it doesn't pay a lot. You gotta build your way up in the game. But now it's okay. I can afford to pay my own rent. I ain't gotta live with people I don't care about anymore. Don't make the mistake my brother did. He got tattoos everywhere. He got a, he got a tattoo of one of his, um, well, first he got a tattoo of his girlfriend right here and one of his homeboys right here. And, you got a tattoo of his newborn baby right here. Yeah, he found out his boy was messing with his girl and that's day baby. Did you have a good time here tonight at Armstrong? I had a great time at Armstrong Atlantic University. The place, the place was packed, the students were full of energy, and this is a great place to attend school. I was at um, some of the classes earlier and I was talking to this one professor and she's at my hotel room waiting on me right now. Well, thank you so much for coming out tonight. We really appreciate you, and good luck in the future. Well, thank you for having me here at Armstrong Atlantic University, and I'm going 
to go get something to eat and meet up with that professor later on in my room. <laughs> Sounds good. Right. Thanks, Corey. <laughs> okay. See you in a few, babe.